welcome to my channel is teams tech in this video we are going to talk about gensim and in gensim we are going to talk about corpora and dictionary and it has a method doc to bow and an attribute token to id so all these things we are going to learn are you excited come let's learn together what is gensim gensim is a free open source python library for representing documents as semantic vectors Vector is nothing but multi-dimensional representation of a word. Now, this open source Python library for representing documents as vectors works efficiently and painlessly as possible. Gensim uses a simple bag of words model, which transforms each document into a bag of words using the token IDs and the frequency of each token in the document. So Gensim use bag of word model. So here we have tokens and we convert those tokens to IDs and how many times that token occurs in the document, right? Right here, we can see that Gensim corpus, corpus is nothing but a collection of writings. So like Gensim corpus is a list of lists and each list item represents one document means a list of list and all sub list we call them documents and the outer list we call it corpus right so here we are going to use downloader and corpora's dictionary gensim downloader is module is an api for downloading getting information and loading data sets and models corpora's dictionary this module it implements the concept of a dictionary, a mapping between words and their integer IDs. So word vector that I discussed in slide one, these are multidimensional mathematical representations of words created using deep learning methods. They give us insight into relationships between words in a corpus, right? So you can see here, this is a male female relationship. Right. So this is vector representation of words. So this is king is related to queen like this and man is related to woman. So now this is verb and tense. Graphical representation, walking and walked, swimming and swam. Right. So you can see here Spain is related to Madrid. Then Italy is related to Rome, Germany to Berlin and so on. This is called graphical representation of word vector. So we are going to start with Gensim. Here we are going to implement dictionary. For this, first of all, we'll have to install Gensim. Let me show you Gensim library here. PYPIORG is a website where you can find all the projects and all the modules of Python. All right, so you can see here release history for Gensim here, and then you can go to home page, click on API to know more about all the APIs of Gensim. So all these are modules or these are APIs. So in from all these APIs, we'll be using downloader and we'll be using dictionary, right? So let's click on here, corpora.dictionary, right? This module implements the concept of a dictionary, a mapping between words and their integer IDs. So you can find here, this is an attribute token to ID. Token is converted to token ID using this attribute, right? So we are also going to use some methods from here, right? So this is a method that we are going to use in our video that is doc to bow. Doc to bow is convert document to bag of words. So we have already installed Gensim. Now we are going to import dictionary class from gensim.corpora.dictionary. So we are given with the data set driving car, drive car carefully and student and university in one list. list. So tokenized docs is, is a variable that contains a list of lists now. So how it will contain a list of list. So you can see here, for doc and data set, data set is given for doc means this is iterator variable. It is going to contain driving car firstly, then drive car carefully for the second time when loop will execute. So student and university for the third time. So every time it is picking the document from this data set, 
driving car it is picking and it is splitting it to two words driving and car and it is enclosing it into square brackets means driving and car is in another list in a sub list now and similarly drive car carefully in another sub list and student and university three are three words are separated and converted to tokens and splitted if we have used here split method and are enclosed in square brackets now we have three sub list within a list right so we have assigned everything all the tokens and list of lists to tokenized docs here now here you can see dictionary is a variable that contains dictionary class and we have instantiated it and we have passed tokenized docs here tokenized docs means it contains a list of lists right so at the end we are printing dictionary dot token to id token to id is an attribute that is converting the tokens to corresponding ids and he, he, now it is a dictionary so these are tokens from the data set we, have, we were given and this is a token car and we are given uh, we are being given the token id zero driving has token id one carefully has token id two and similarly other tokens now you can see here to corpus gensim's corpus is a list of lists that contains word token ids and how many times it occurs in the data set or in or it occurs in the document now you can see here this is doc, this is a document this is a list of list right so 0 comma 1 0 is a token id for car and 1 means it occurs only one time one is a token id for driving and one here in as a second argument to the tuple we can see here it's one only driving also occur in one time in the document so you can see here this is a sub list right this is a sub list and this is outlet outer list so now you can see here in the second document within the corpus within the gensim corpus zero is for car it occurs only one time you can see here drive car carefully you can see here drive car is zero it occurs only one time so two is for carefully carefully occurs only one time three is for drive and again it occurs only one time and similar is for third document right like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon we are so thankful that you are supporting us